Hello and good morning, Jack. How are you doing today? Hi, Arrow. Nice to be with you. Oh, my God, Jack. I got to tell you, this book, this is a work of art. What you have put into this like book it. and the experiences <laughs> that you have gone through, this to me is a backstage pass to a new step to a brand new beginning. That's a lovely That's a lovely compliment. Thank you very much. Somebody uh, else called it a love letter to Ireland. He said, he said it's your love letter to your homeland. And I, I guess it is. I guess that's what it is. <laughs> I'm going with you on that one. In fact, that's the way I'm going to describe it then, because it is a love letter, and it, and it serves as that, that invitation for, for people to explore and go ahead and plan on taking a journey. Go over there and visit it and, and get involved with the community. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, you know, people ask me, what, what's the main thing you should do in Ireland? And I, I, I always say the main thing you should do in, in Ireland is just talk to people. You know, it's not about going here, going there, seeing this, seeing that. The, the, the people are the real treasure in Ireland, you know, and, and Irish people love to talk. So, you know, talk. Well, well, you go over there and you get into one of those pubs and then you can spend hours just listening to the authentic music as well. Exactly. Yeah, it's a great place to go for music. If, if you're a music lover, it's it's heaven on earth. You know, there's we go into the book, all the various places to go for music. Like um, Doolin is the is in County Clare, a little village on the Atlantic coastline. There would be the I guess the spiritual home of traditional Irish music. And you can go there. There's it's a small little town. There's four pubs, but they're always heaving with with people who are you know in there for the sessions. What we call the sessions. And the sessions are just spontaneous music sessions where, you know, anyone can join in if they, yeah. if they ask. Uh, it's, ma- it's magical, a magical place, very spontaneous. One of the things that you point out very early in, in the book, which is called Always Ireland, is is that you say every every town, every community is unique in itself. Don't go there to just stay in one you know area. Go and grow, yeah. basically. Exactly, yeah. It's, it's a very diverse place, uh, Ireland, and... You know, I spent half my life there, and then I came abroad, and I spent the other half of my life away from it. And it just it made me appreciate how diverse it is in terms of, um, you know, one of the great things about Ireland for, for visitors from, from America, particularly, is that we all speak English. <laughs> but we don't, we don't all speak the same kind of English, and we don't speak in the same accent. There's 32 different varieties over there, you know? <laughs> so it's, it's tremendously entertaining, apart from anything else. You know, you'll, you'll, you'll go into, into a new county like Cork, and it'll be like going to a new country, you know? Because the accents are so thick, and they're so different, and it's, it's so musical in Cork, you know? It's great fun. There's a, there's a section in my, in my book about walking around Cork and just listening to people and, and, and the phrases they use. And, uh, we give a little kind of translation guide, you know, <laughs> which is fun. But it, but it really is a, it's, it's a great place to, as I say, just experience the people and, 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 and to make the most of the, the time you're there by, by listening, you know. Well, I, I'm a people watcher. So with you talking like that, I'm sitting here going, I'm jealous. I want to be there right now. I want to experience it. <laughs> but let me ask you a question, though. I, we had a guy in, in, at our station that actually, you know, retired and was moving to Ireland. What is that attraction to where Americans want to move to Ireland? I, it's just a different, uh, it's a different approach to life. You know, it's a slower approach to life. And there's there's a feeling that you have more time. Time is kind of stretched out in Ireland. You know, I always say to people, if you're in a car, don't use the GPS. Because <laughs> you're, you're doing away with half your entertainment. The fun is getting lost and stopping, you know, by a guy who's leaning over a fence and talking to him for 20 minutes. And... He will not only tell you, you know, where to go or, you know, he'll tell you a different place to go and he'll say, well, you know, you're here now. There's a great musical session tonight. Why don't you just stay for that? Or he'll invite you to his house or he'll do this. Like, people are very open in Ireland. Um, but they're interested in people from abroad. And part of that is because we've gone abroad ourselves for, for you know, centuries. So we're, we're kind of open to... to um, to where you're from as well and I, I think it's just a it's a kind of a very absorbing culture is probably the attraction of it you know there's a famous uh, line in, in Irish history that the Normans came over and they built mm-hmm. these big castles to keep the wild Irish out you know and they banned the music and they banned the, the, the language and everything but it didn't work and the reason it didn't work was, you know, because the Irish have the best parties. So uh, they, they, they just got, what happened to them was the same as the Danes, the, the Vikings and every, everyone else who tried to invade Ireland. They just get absorbed, you know. And the famous dictum was that 
the Normans became more Irish than the Irish themselves. You know, <laughs> they took the language, they took the thing, and, that, and that's that's very true. They do. It's it's a very easy place to kind of, you know settle into. Wouldn't you say that part of the romance, though, is, you know, so, so many people uh, like to run away from the rain. To me, I would I would love to walk through the rain. I want to see the landscape. I want to see how everything just harmonizes in a moment. <laughs> well, if, it, if, it, if it's rain you like, you know, that's that's your place. Or, uh, <laughs> go to Ireland, because you, you, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> but I know what you mean. It's, it is, it's a wonderful place. Um, I, I love it as well. I love when it's bucketing down rain outside, you know. Um, and you just put on the gear and out you go and, and, and listen to the rain and it's so verdant you know like it's, it's one of the greenest places on earth because of that yeah. and because of the temperatures that you know were washed by the Gulf Stream and that but it's, it's a lovely lovely place it's, it's a very it's a very kind of gentle climate you know you, you do you don't get the extremes that you get elsewhere so it'll be cold all right and it'll be wet and it'll be miserable but you know um, you can always go for a walk in Ireland, and uh, it's, it's a beautiful countryside, you know. My neighbors just spent some time in Ireland, and this is literally what their quote was. I no longer sing the song, I Left My Heart, in San Francisco. It's in Ireland. It's in Ireland, yeah. yeah. Well, well, there's a lot to be said for that. Yeah, people do fall in love with it, you know. I, I think it's just, it's, as I said, it's a very gentle and a very kind of warm place, and the people are genuine in it as well, you know. I, I came across a, uh, a lovely po- uh, quote by the poet James Heaney the other day, and I really related to it. Like, you know, people ask me, why'd you go home all the time? You know, <laughs> what is it with Ireland? What's the attraction? And Seamus Heaney had this line he said, if you have a strong first world and a strong set of relationships, then in some part of you, you're always free. You can walk the world because you know where you belong, you have some place to come back to, you know. And I think Ireland is like that. It's very um, strong sense of place, of geography, of identity, you know. For first-timers that go to Ireland, will they come back to the United States and go into the Americanized Irish pubs and go, whoa, I have to go back because they've got the real nightlife going on? Because, you know, there, there are so many copycat clubs here, but I, I yeah, would just love to yeah. experience that nightlife. Yeah, it's it's true that, um, you know, that everywhere in America, I suppose, you know, you, you, you take a, a kind of a a stereotype and you, you try to transpose it or whatever or you try to transpose one thing the lovely thing about Ireland is is that it's diverse you know if you go to an Irish pub um, it just depends on what time you're walking in it like with the music for example a lot of the Irish pubs um, will have as I say sessions musical sessions um, which are traditional music sessions but Ireland's a very diverse place, so once that finishes, you might get a guy standing up with a guitar, and he'll be singing, you know, country and western songs about like Johnny Cash and, <laughs> and various people for an hour, and then, you know, you get a rock and roll band, um, but the rock and roll band will finish with a couple of folk songs, like <laughs> Bob Dylan or someone, you know, it's, it's kind of, it's, it, it's, it's much more diverse, um, and it's not as kind of stratified as, as things are in, in other places, you know. Um, anything goes in Ireland, you know, it's, it's whatever you are. You wow. Know. Where can people go to find out more about you and your travels as well as everything that you have released? Because you're, you're such a brilliant artist when it comes to telling stories. Thanks <laughs> very much. Well, I have one other book, uh, which is the um, Nat- National Geographic Complete Parks of Europe, National Parks of Europe. Yeah. Um, apart from various articles and things. But you can go to, uh, to, to to learn more about this particular book, the Always Ireland book. You can go to an uh, Instagram account, which is at JK Global Text. At JK Global Text. So we show a few of the photographs um, and dip into the culture and the, the little bits of story. So you'll get, you'll get a flavour of what's in the book. But the book is about everything Irish. It's got recipes. It's got, you know. Wow. Um, it, it's talking to a lot of people, as you know, because um, there's a lot of culture to get through in Ireland. Um, so we try and give a little flavor of everything, you know. I love it. Jack, you got to come back to this show any time in the future. The door is always going to be open for you, sir. I'd be delighted to. Excellent. Thank you, Arthur. Thank will you very much for having me. Will you be brilliant today, okay? Thank you. Thanks a lot.